Hello, this video is a quick catch up on what's been going on over at the Ultimate Add-ons for Beaver Builder. And I'm recording this today on the 10th of July, 2017, because today it must be officially their first anniversary or first birthday. So congratulations to all the team over there. I know this because it's my wife's birthday, so I can clearly remember me buying it exactly one year ago, even though I think many of us had it for about a month, I think, before it officially went on sale so we could do the beta testing. But anyway, I thought I'd do a quick video just to sort of catch up on some of the latest developments and also to let you know that I've also gone and updated my live demo site, Fred. So this is an unofficial demo site. So you can come over here and test out some of the modules if you're a user without having to install them on your own server. And if you're thinking about it, you can come here and try it out for yourself over at my site over at ultimate.beaverjunction.com and the link will be below. So all you'll need to do if you've not seen any of my videos is you come in here and answer this simple capture, press try demo, give it a little bit of time. It creates a new version of this site and you can do what you like. And I've set up some of the modules here, not all of them, they're not all beautiful as they are on the site. So if you wanna see how the modules look, definitely come over here and look because they're beautifully laid out. I've just done some and I'm gonna keep adding to this. And there's also some templates set up here, but I've also loaded all the latest ones as well. So really just to let you know that I've done that update and there has been a, a few updates recently because we've got Beaver Thema come out. So presently we're on version 1.4.7. Now what that's brought is a couple of module additions. It's brought Gravity Form Styler. So I've set up a page for that. It's also added some semicircle counters to the counter module and also I think it's in this version we've got six new templates beautiful templates which we'll talk about in a minute but before this we also had Beaver Thema come out and they were right on top of this but I think even before it was released they'd already linked up some of their modules to field connectors. So you, if you're a Beaver Thema user, you get the power out of those field connectors with modules. Well, many of the Ultima add-on modules now have got those connectors where it's sensible. So you can connect that up with Beaver Thema. So I've also included ACF Pro. I could have used pods here, but I just uh, used this one for creating some fields. And I've actually added some fields to some of the pages here. So you could experiment yourself. Okay, so that's pretty much all I needed to say. But as you can see over here, there's a 20% sale on with Ultimate add-ons at the moment. So if you're thinking about buying this, this may be the time to do that. I just looked when I was over on their site that I don't see anything here. Maybe it's intelligent and knows that I've just been looking, but if I go to buy now, I think we'll see that the prices are low. I don't know when this is gonna end. I didn't ask them about this. So I thought I'd just, carry on talking a little bit and just give you something of my experience of it if that will help you with your decision or not as many people know i love all the beaver builder stuff so i was going to buy this pack anyway but i did love what was happening i also bought their competitors as well and i'm very pleased to have both of them because although very similar there is a lot of invention on both sides even if they probably not even just down to them the customers will ask them to have what the other one has and that's kind of how it goes but they both got unique modules which I I think are definitely worth the price of what I paid and I got the life deal with both of these so I, I feel very happy with what I've got but I you know there is a history with it I, I've written before with my concerns about any of these add-on packs I get concerned about whether there's going to be any code bloat whether they just keep adding and sites are going to get slowed down whether they're going to take up too much server space all of these things have been taken on board, not least by Ultimate add-ons because they, I felt they had a speed problem in the early days and they spent a lot of time and fixed that. And in fact, it's gone the other way now. If you don't turn on any of the modules, they're really not using up any resources. So couldn't be happier with that. It's uh, quite interesting, really, my story with it. I met Sujay very early on when they released this pack and we talked a lot and I had a very different view of it. He was very keen, which is slightly different, I guess, from their competitors, is that he was quite keen on plen plenty of templates. And I thought, well, templates isn't really what I'm looking for and people I know in Beaver Builder because we like to design our own stuff. 
And it's very interesting a year on how much has changed in that now. It's because I think it's actually their templates now, I think, sells their package. It always would have done anyway. So just anybody who's not got that kind of uh, skills, if you like, anybody who's design challenged might be attracted to the ultimate add-on. So marketers might use that particularly as their templates of a conversion focus but you know much has happened with me because they keep producing these high quality templates and you probably want to check them oh here's Sujay this is the guy I talked to a lot on this and I've disagreed with but now see the value in what he's doing so if let's just go and have a look actually so I've loaded some of the templates here just to show you how you can do it now I started loading the early ones up here and realized there's just too many of them and in fact the better ones are probably in the cloud rather than on my example. So let me just go into a, a blank template page and go into the page builder. And ah, well, I've just been loading one of them. So you can see that's still there ready. So we'll take this one as an example. Now this is one of the latest of the, let's just go actually quickly in here and look into the template cloud and you can see this, yes. So this is one of the six recent ones that have just been added this one now and there's a ton here and they are all beautiful and really as you can see by looking down here it's just beautifully sort of laid out with great space great calls to actions great hints about where you might want to put the sort of content that's going to sell and how you might section this off so you know as a starting point for site this is really good I mean one of the downsides and I've talked about this before is then that you are stuck with always having ultimate add-ons on because it's going to use in their modules to produce this but more recently I'm starting to think well this is you know maybe not for all of the work that I'm doing but even somebody like me who prefers to design these things are thinking with something like these templates and more and more that we have of them that I can now start to run say one day courses where somebody comes I can take four people on at a time they could pick some templates and we train them how to use Beaver Builder and how to amend their templates and they'd be up and running with a site in one day and probably could do four people using something like this so you know it opens up a lot of business opportunities and the new ideas to perhaps compete with the fact that folks out there do know about Wix, Weebly and Squarespace. So yeah, really a great thing. Um, I like that. But you know, just to mention while I am doing a bit of a sales job on them, that there are certainly some modules that I particularly like. Let me just go over and see. Now there's some unique ones that I like. So Info Circle, that's, uh, I might as well just click on that one. It's not one that I've used before, but you'll not find it anywhere else. And it's a kind of a great way of laying out some types of content. There's more examples across here, but it puts all your information in a circle. There are other ones. I'm not going to have time to just run through all of these before and after slide. Actually, I will click on this one. Again, a fairly recent one, uh, which I think has really increased the value of it. Now, that's a silly example here, but I've not yet used it on the client side, but I can see I'm going to need it because I've needed it before. You know, just my brothers alone have businesses where they need to show before and after. One's a cleaner, so how it was cleaned and how it looked before and one's a gardener what the garden looked like before and after so really useful module that one to have and there are a few other ones one particularly one that i think is quite good is the uh, the sort of evergreen countdown which is somewhere which means that you know somebody gets a, a fresh countdown so if you want to kind of create the sense of scarcity which it's pretty good to have but there are another bunch i've been doing some uh, beaver builder strip downs with other beaver builder users where they're showing their beaver builder site so i've been seeing how people have been using uabb modules and there's some silly ones that many people say where did somebody do this dual button technique paul lacy i did a beaver builder strip down with one of his sites everybody was asking him about his and it didn't look quite like this but his dual button and many of those people were uabb owners who didn't realize that they already had that available to them and it's the same with testimonials as well they look particularly nice anyway i think i've just been overselling uabb but 
it might not be for you at all, but I just thought I'd give you my take on it. I am, I think maybe a year on a bat, I am more excited about it than I was when it first came out because I can see, particularly with the templates, that it opens up some other little business ideas I can do or how I can reach, if you like, people who don't have a great budget. And these folks will still probably come on my care plan later, so I'll still continue to be able to serve them and still uh, get revenue out, even though I'm making their websites much quicker. Okay, that's been me, and I will get more on topic, I think, soon with uh, my videos, but I just thought I'd cover UABB. So that's me done. So finally, happy birthday to all the people over at the Ultimate Add-ons team, and I'm going to say goodbye. Bye-bye. <laughs>